In response to some questions I've had about digestion and yoga, this short practice is a practice of vagal tone and then a simple pranayama and a spinal rotation to help aid your digestion. This is part of a longer practice, a larger practice, which you can see here. But I also wanted to gift you with this partial practice so that you could do this when you're approaching your relationship to digestion. You could also do a portion of this practice once you get to know the tools. You can do it before you have a meal, before you interact with food, before you remember the importance of what we put in our mouth, actually what we ingest, we have to be able to digest. And digestion is really a cornerstone to mental health and well-being. So let's see how the practice feels for you. And if you have not yet, please do subscribe to the channel, hit the like button for videos that are helpful, and also leave questions and comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Okay. Bye for now. See you in the practice. Welcome for practice. So we'll start with the period of sitting quietly. I would like to be working a little more deeply into digestion this morning. So Keeping that in mind, this practice is best done with an empty stomach or uh, you haven't eaten for the last two hours or so. Uh, maybe more than that, if you have slower transit time, you may want to have a longer duration between food and this kind of practice. Please take a comfortable seat. Rest your hands in your lap. Let your eyes close. And drop your attention inwardly and also move your attention down. Find your center between your two sitting bones, the tailbone, pubic bone. And then imagine the plumb line that goes from the center of the pelvic floor up to the crown of your skull. But while there is a musculoskeletal component to that, and we could map that on the sitting bones, tailbone, pubic bones, up through the vertebrae, there is also what we call the central channel in the subtle body of yoga called Shushumna Nadhi. As you center yourself in that plumb line, allow your shoulder blades to relax down, but lift the center of your heart slightly. Release the hinge of your jaw, but lift through the roof of your mouth. And then let's consider for a moment that digestion begins with the senses that we would see food, smell food. We might even hear the sounds of food being prepared or uh, in some cases hear the sound of food as we pick it and wash it and prepare it. So we see, smell, hear, and touch food before we taste it. And those are elements of digestion as well. And then digestion begins as we salivate in the anticipation of food. So our first digestive um, ambassadors are the saliva and the, the uh, way that our mouth prepares for food to come. One reason why we say chew your food, because the saliva interacts with the food. We say chew your food, don't, don't um, sip your food through a straw. But for those who can, of course, chew your food. For those who must sip food through a straw, we understand, but it's not recommended to have uh, smoothies, smoothies, smoothies through a straw, straw, straw. So we want to engage with the mouth. So to set up this environment and also to increase vagal tone this morning, we'll do just a really simple practice. You're going to take the tongue and run it across the top of the teeth on the front and then 
the lower teeth, also on the front. That'll build saliva in your mouth. And then you're gonna swallow. And we'll just do that five times. So when you're ready. Since we're aiming to build vagal tone, don't rush the practice. Vagal tone is something related to your resilience and your ability for equanimity and empathy. So be with your experience. When you've completed that five times, and take notice of any even subtle hint of feeling more present with yourself or with your mouth or your saliva. Another important aspect of digestion also related to vagal tone has to do with the not just the swallow reflex, but the whole region of the throat. So now we're gonna chant the sound of Aum. We'll do it in a specific way. First, we'll do the letter A. Ah. We'll do that several times. Then we'll do the letter M. And then we'll put them all together. So the ah sound is like having the tongue depressor with the doctor checking the throat. You want that to be, uh, you know, Resonant, um, patient, kind, doesn't need to be forceful. The M sound, the vibration is going to go in and up towards the roof of the mouth, which also will stimulate the pineal and the pituitary gland. When we put them all together as the sound of Aum, for those who want to see more information about this kind of practice, there is a video on our YouTube channel. You could check the link here for that. Um, but as we do it here this morning, since you're experienced practitioners, We'll do ah five times, we'll do m five times, and then we'll do om five times. Reminder, om is a, u, m, and silence, four syllables. So take a simple breath in. Allow yourself a smooth inhale, might even do a subtle form of the ujjayi inhale. completed five, we're going to go to the M sound, lips between the teeth, the vibration inside the mouth. Again, a subtle ujjayi inhale to begin.
keeping it smooth and steady, we'll do one more. And then again, imagine the effect you're having. And the vagus nerve, vagal tone. You might also notice any little glimpse of a quieter mind. And now we'll do the sound of Om also five times. It's A U M silence. The silence is a part of the exhale. Each part is equal. And then there'll be your inhale in silence. Start with the in-breath. Oh. And then once more notice even a glimpse of mental stillness or silence. You've already established a message to your digestive system. Now we'll do one more pranayama where you take the fingers and the thumb like this. So first two fingers in, ring finger and thumb. We're going to partially close both sides of the nose. And then the inhale is going to be slowed down dramatically. During this kind of inhale, the flap between the esophagus and the stomach is also being drawn down because of the quality of suction the diaphragm has to do to make this inhale. So your diaphragm is gonna go down during the inhale as always, just gonna go more slowly and with greater suction, causing that flap at the top of the stomach, the base of the esophagus to be more secure. So for people dealing with acid reflux, this is a really helpful practice to prepare for eating, to have a better digestive opportunity to not have acid reflux taking over. For us, it's also a chance to draw pitta, the pitta dosha, out of the head, for those of you for whom we tend to have a pitta mind, and to bring it down into its seat in the stomach. Okay, so place your thumb and your ring finger, and let's inhale slowly through both nostrils. 
at the top of your inhale at your pace, you're just going to then have a gentle sigh like exhale. Now that sigh might be through the nose or through the mouth, but then when you're ready, you'll do the next in-breath. As you get practiced at this technique, you're going to be able to go sequentially, breath to breath, but right now you might need a little pause between each breath. And you can finish with your next exhale sigh. The name for that practice, by the way, is Prachaloma Pranayama. Notice the overall feeling tone of your mind. And even imagine if you were to be now approaching a beautiful meal or even a simple piece of fruit, you know, what would be your relationship to that from this place? Let's take a one physical posture while we're still sitting and cross your, uh, if you're sitting cross-legged, that's ideal. So the knees are a little bit wider uh, and then cross your left hand over to the outside of your right knee. Walk your right hand behind you. Please twist to your right. You can turn your head to your right also. Okay. And in the twist, be specific, kind of deliberate that you want the breath to be slow. Ujjayi breathing is wonderful. And that the breath does fill into the pelvic basin. So low belly, mid belly, upper belly, back waist, and then up into the heart. And see if you can kind of reserve a portion of your inhale for the upper chest and collarbones. So you're getting a full torso breath. We'll do one more inhale, and then the exhale is to squeeze the belly. So as you go through the exhale, you can make it a little bit stronger towards the end, but don't make yourself breathless. That won't be helpful. At the end of that exhale, rotate around to center. And then bring your right hand across to your left knee. Again, sitting cross-legged means your knees are farther apart, so that actually can be helpful for this reach with your right arm. Walk the left hand behind you. 
Great, and please twist to your left. You can look over your left shoulder. Yeah, and allow the breath to be slow and steady so it includes your upper chest, heart, and collarbone. Let's be specific. You're kind of massaging the inner body as the diaphragm draws down. It's causing a massage of the inner organs, including your digestive organs. It's also very helpful to your nervous system, and we, we digest much better when we're in the parasympathetic nervous system, specifically ventral vagal parasympathetic nervous system. We'll do one more breath using the exhale as a squeeze of the lower belly, but not to the point of breathlessness. And then in the pause after the exhale, please come around to face forward. You could ask again now, if you were gonna be approaching a meal, what would it feel like from right here? Before you go, if you've done this short pranayama practice for digestion, let me know when, what questions you had, what it felt like for you, and if it makes a difference to even how you think about going to your next meal, let me know that too down in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That's very helpful for us so we can keep putting out more content that supports you with your mental, physical, and spiritual well-being. Thanks for being here. Namaste.